I finally got our curriculum in for all my kids. And today I'm sharing all about what my second grader is going to be using this school year. So let's get to it. Oh, and because I always forget, <laughs> because I think I forgot in my last video. I'm Suen from the Homeschool Front, and this is my YouTube channel, Life in the Trenches, where I share all things about homeschooling. All right, so to start off with math, we are doing Beast Academy, and Beast Academy recently came out with 1A, their um, level one books. Before, it was just level two up to level five, I believe. And now we have level one, and level one is different than the others because it, the comics and the practice books are combined, they're all in one. Whereas the other level two and up, they are separate. And I like this better. I hope that they're gonna change the other books as well. Um, Cause I just like this better. But to be honest, my oldest son, he was using Beast Academy or he's finishing up with Beast Academy right now. And he preferred the online version. But I think just doing math by hand is a lot more beneficial. And I know my youngest son, or my middle son is very hands-on, and so I feel like doing math by hand is gonna be better for him. Whereas my older son is um, very tech savvy and he prefers doing everything in his head. And so that is why the online version was good for him. So if you haven't heard of Beast Academy, it is more of an advanced math program. If you have uh, kids that are struggling in math, maybe don't do Beast Academy. Um, definitely get those basics down before you venture into Beast Academy. Oh, good job. My daughter is already cracking into her handwriting without tears. So letting her do that, even though we haven't officially started the school year yet. Still got another week to go. I'm talking about handwriting without tears. Um, I got my son this as well. So I found handwriting without tears just to be very practical and it's good practice and it's easy to do. So we have this, I got the pack, which normally I don't do, but I did this time. We have building writers, as you can see, practice writing. And then we have journals, which um, didn't really need this, but it came in the pack and, or in the set, I guess is what it's called, but we use a different type of journal and let me get that real quick. So if you can't tell, I'm a lover of Mead products. Uh, maybe because they give me memories from when I was in school. I don't know. So uh, we use this grades K through two primary journal creative thinking. It's, it's basically the same thing as what we got with um, handwriting without tears, but smaller. And you know, draw a picture up here and right down here. And they give a little sample right here. So this is what we're gonna be using. So that is language arts. And of course we're gonna be reading books. We read lots and lots of books. We go to the library at least once a week, sometimes once every two weeks or every three weeks, it depends how many books that we, it depends how many books we check out at a time. Sometimes we go a little overboard and other times we just get one book and that's it and we're done and then we need a new one. And with all three of my kids, we do do poetry memorization. Um, from IEW, and I I like it. It works for me. And then I think also, oh, I forgot. We are gonna, I don't have a physical copy, or maybe I do, and it's just somewhere back there. Um, for language arts, we're also gonna do Jot It Down. I'm gonna do that for both of my kids. Maybe I should have made a video with like family subjects, but it's just the way it goes. <laughs> So if you watch the video I shared about my daughter's curriculum, which is for kindergarten, it's the same thing. I guess this would be considered a family subject since both of them are using it, but my oldest son, he's doing something different and you have to watch that video if you wanna know what we're doing with him. So this is History Unboxed and I've been collecting them uh, this past year. Let me show you real quick, in case you didn't watch the other videos. They're up there. Look at that, stacked high. <laughs> um, so we were supposed to use it last year and we didn't get around to it because life happened. And so we're using it this year. Like I said before, many times there is no perfect history curriculum or science curriculum or any of them. You're gonna have to supplement all of them, in my opinion. And we will, we'll have books that we'll read that coincide with what we're learning. We'll have videos that we'll watch. We'll have magazines, we'll, we'll just have more information than what is available here. But this is a good starting point, a good launching point. And I just wanted to try 
this out because I've heard a lot of really good things about it. And I will do more of a deep dive into it so you can see what's, what's included. So this kit that I have here is for ages five to nine. It has some information. We got some corn husks, some candy, and some other things. So it's, it'll be interesting to see what we're doing, uh, what we're gonna be making and learning about with these kits. So this one is about Jamestown, and I'm excited to do this with my kids. Which also for history, we have the early American history right here, which we are going to use to supplement the history unbox that I shared with you as well. And this is from Beautiful Feet Books, and I did do a flip through of this as well. I feel like I just need to do a video like all about American history and like resources you can use. So this is another great one here that I'll be using to supplement but all three of my kids for their um, U.S. history study, which is the Smithsonian Children's Encyclopedia of American History. And I don't know if this is still in print. I did have to um, buy this used and I believe it was a library edition. Next is science. And science is Generation Genius and we do the online version of Generation Genius, but we also got the kits because my kids really loved the kits that, um, that they generously gifted me uh, a couple months ago and we made a video about that. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. We'll be linked down below because I can't guarantee it. I'll be able to link it up in the corner there. So this is kit number two I'm gonna open up. I'm thinking that kit number one may be the one that we were gifted um, by Generation Genius because we are an affiliate. So all my links down below are affiliate links except for Beast Academy because they do not have an affiliate program. So we have kit here and I'll open it up real quick so you can see what's inside. And I like these kits because everything is in a package. Whereas some of the other kits, like each experiment is like in a couple different packages where here in Generation Genius, each package is one science experiment, which is great because there have been many times where I've used the wrong stuff <laughs> for different science experiments because I didn't, I thought it would just be all in one bag. I was wrong. And then my son is also still doing Crunch Labs. He's not done yet. So he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's done nine so far, which means he has three left before he's done with that. And then for art, we do, you know, artsy things at home. You, we incorporate art with history, science, language arts, math. We play a lot of games, so a lot of board games and card games and, and dice games um, for all the subjects. And we also watch a lot of videos that correlate to whatever we're learning. And we try to get outside as well to do a lot of learning. So uh, we may supplement his math with like wild math. We do that outside, you know, with science. We like to take that outside and do like nature study, even though we don't do nature journaling. <laughs> We do nature study, identifying plants and counting birds and just, you know, taking care of our garden and then our chickens. So we do a lot of outdoor, sciencey, natural kind of things. So for PE, my son wants to do swimming for sure. And then I was even thinking about golf. We do have a golf course that's nearby and SCGA Junior Golf Club. And I think they have one at our local golf course. So anyways, it's just like $65 a year and it includes more than 130 participating. So this is in California. So it has more than 130 participating Southern California facilities, more than 1600 facilities nationwide. Oh, okay. So I guess it works in conjunction with USGA future eligibility for college scholarship. I think you get like discounts on, on green and range fees, stuff like that. So that's what I'm thinking about doing with the kids because like in our family, we believe in doing sports that are lifelong sports, you know, something that you can take into when you're an adult. And so for us, that is like 
hiking and backpacking and fishing, swimming and surfing, golfing, because you know, if you decide to go corporate or become an entrepreneur, golfing is a great, is a place where a lot of people do business deals. There is a class on out school called Workout with a Marine, I think it's called, I can't remember, but my oldest son took a survival class with them. So the, both of them are talking about taking his fitness class. So they may do that as well. I don't know, there's just a lot of possibilities, but we don't wanna overpack our schedules because that is just not fun at all. Oh, and he's also doing the enrichment, the homeschool enrichment center that with my daughter. Um, my oldest son is not doing it, but those two are gonna be doing it together. So that is another activity that they're gonna do. So if you're interested in learning about what my other kids are going to be using this school year, or what they used the last school year, make sure you check out this playlist here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.